Thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to show the Mingda K3 UV resin printer. Now, most people getting into 3D printing get an FDM printer and with good reason. However, if you need to make small detailed objects like figurines, a resin printer might be the right tool. Personally, I have lots of experience with FDM printers and the high-end Formlabs SLA printers, so this entry-level UV resin printer is a bit new for me too. Let's take a look at what you get for the low entry price point of less than $240 Canadian. The K3 printer comes pretty much fully assembled out of the box. In terms of accessories, you get some scrapers, a face mask and some gloves, and that's to handle resin, not for COVID by the way, replacement FEP release film, and a stack of funnel filters to pour resin back into the bottle. I do suggest spending a few bucks to get proper metal filter and a plastic funnel like this. Now, the only thing you need to do before starting to print is to confirm the build platform is level. To do that, you'll need a piece of paper. A four-year-old artistic masterpiece is optional. A blank sheet will work as well. Once you have your sheet of paper, you release and take off the resin tray. You put the sheet of paper here flat like this and then you use the touch screen to move the print bed down to home. Now, when doing that, make sure these adjustment screws are loose so that this platform can actually move. Uh, and then you just press firmly down so that it's nice and tight against the film. Tighten back up the screws and you're pretty much good to go. Now before we start printing, let's note what's not included with the printer and will require you to spend a bit more money. First of all, you'll need some resin. I opted for this water washable resin so I don't need to deal with alcohol, which is kind of like liquid gold these days. Next, you need a wash and cure solution. On the high end, you can splurge and purchase a wash and cure machine like this, but it's totally not necessary. A plastic tub and a low cost UV lamp would work too, or you could even cure in sunlight, but probably not in Canada in the middle of winter. Okay, so on to actually printing. You just need to fill the resin tank with enough resin for your print, then start the print using the touchscreen. There's no network capabilities on this printer, so you will be loading the files using a USB drive that goes into the side. For slicing, you'll use the Chi2 box software, which is a popular option for these low-cost resin printers. Now for the prints it produces. Keeping in mind I had no idea the proper setting for this printer with this third-party resin, I printed a test file that came with the printer and has Mingda's default settings. It actually came out pretty well. But it was probably overexposed when the bottom layer that was really hard to get the print off the platform. So after adjusting the settings a bit, I printed this Cali cap, one of my favorite test prints. You can compare the one I got off a Mingda Rock 3 FDM printer. So an FDM printer made by the same company. Now it's not easy to see in the video perhaps, but it's clear that the resin one has much better details without any visible layer lines. The settings still need to be dialed in more, especially with wash and cure times, so you can expect quality to be better than this. So overall, the Mangda K3 worked pretty much out of the box. With just a random resin and default settings, I was able to pop off a successful print, which pretty much speaks to how forgiving it is. Dealing with resin is a bit messy compared to FDM filaments, and you do need the additional wash and cure steps. But if you're looking to make highly detailed small objects, resin printing should definitely be on your radar. At a price of less than $240, it's pretty hard to find fault and well worth it even if you're just experimenting with this type of UV resin 3D printing.